everyone thanks for jumping back into the cryptoverse today we're going to be going over macro level moves in ethereum um so i i talked about this a little bit the other day where we looked at average um yearly return on your investment or say the average 90 day return on your investment by month and we talked about how it's informative but the issue with it is you know a single really good year can skew the rest of the data um, so we, we, you know, I, I mentioned that in a few days I would provide a new video that, that shows more granulated data, and so we're going to look at that today. So what we have here is, you know, basically it's just the the 90 day ROI on on Ethereum uh, since inception. So this is essentially what would your what would your ROI be if you bought in in this month and then sold 90 days later. Um, so you can see the months are broken down over here by color. So we just go January, February, March, April, May, June, all the way out to December. Um, clearly there's some duplicate colors, but I think you can uh, follow along because they're just in order. Um, uh, but you can see these, you know, these these longer term macro level trends and, and note that this is a log scale. So 10 to the zero is one, which means this is your break even point. So you know, months where you're buying and selling 90 days later, if it's below one, then clearly you're losing money. Um, and, and really you want it to be above one just to, to keep up with the fact that, you know, there inflation. Um, I mean, just in terms of the US dollar, you would want your cryptocurrency assets to gain value um, just to keep up with that. So um, with that said, let's, uh, let's dive in further. So, you know, clearly, looking at the 90 day ROI, um, it's a shorter term metric, but I think some people like to use this type of type of metric for, for various types of, of swing trades. Um, and you can you can kind of see the ebb and flow of the market. Um, but I think what's more informative is, is oh, my video disappeared. Um, anyways, uh, what's more informative is the, the macro level move. Um, so if we look at the one year ROI, so this is slightly different than, than the previous graph. So this is basically what would your ROI be um, on average in a given month if you had invested one year prior? So for instance, if you had, you know, if let's say you sold in January of 2018, if you had bought Ethereum one year before this, then on average during that month, your ROI would have been 100x. And that's a, that's an incredible return, um, and you can you can kind of see this ebb and flow of the market where it kind of goes down and then back up, and then all the way down, and then we're starting to to head back up. Now, how do we know we're headed up? Well, we don't really fully know that we're headed up, but why don't we compare it to an asset that has been around a lot longer? Let's look at Bitcoin. So, if you look at the historical data for Bitcoin, we look at the the one year ROI. And we can see we have our break-even point at 10 to the zero, and you can you can similarly see the ebb and flow of the market. And I've I've highlighted these by drawing these lines. So I'm basically drawing from uh, peak to bottom, peak to bottom, peak to bottom. This is more or less just to show that you know the time between each peak to peak one year ROI return or one year ROI. Um, it's getting longer and longer, so you can see you know the time between these two is not as long, and then here it's it's significantly longer. So we went from you know this is 2011 to 2013, and this is 2013 to 2017. Um, now clearly, I don't know exactly you know when the next one's going to occur um, because I'm drawing from bottom to peak, and if the peak doesn't occur until say 2022 or 2023, then this line would obviously be flatter. Um, but anyways, it's an interesting trend because you can also see the reduced volatility in Bitcoin over time. Now, so with Ethereum, you know, we, we, we talked about trying to trying to compare Ethereum with Bitcoin. So you can kind of see some similarities here. You can kind of see with Bitcoin, um, it you know it came down and then and then had this this peak and then it, it dropped significantly before slowly going back up over the next uh, four years or so. So Ethereum, we had this peak here, um, similar to the uh, similar to what we've seen with Bitcoin, and you can see that this peak um, occurred, you know, not quite, but it's it's getting close to the order of magnitude of 100. I mean, clearly it's below 100, and and the same thing with Ethereum. I mean, this is over 100. So I would I would say that the Ethereum one-year ROI 
of the last market cycle most closely corresponds to the ROI that, that Bitcoin saw in 2013. And it's possible that if 2015 is similar to 2019, I mean, you can see how similar they are. In fact, with the last, um, with December, uh, taking December being the, the first month of 2015 that saw a positive one-year ROI if you had bought a year before. Similarly, for Ethereum, if you had bought in the end of 2018, then you would have seen a positive ROI um, in 2019 uh, in December. Now, you also would have seen one um, uh, in November slightly on, on average. So potentially we're, you know, we're, we're developing kind of a, a similar pattern as, as Bitcoin where we are, we're going to start moving back up and, and start seeing some significant returns over, over the next couple of years. Because currently um, our one-year ROI is just sitting at 10 to the zero, um, which is one. And, and I should note that, you know, this is just showing um, data from uh, through 2019. I don't actually have January um, on here yet, but I, I just wanted to give a, a brief update on on where we are with Ethereum, where I really, you know where I see think that we're headed. Um, you can see that the next peak for Bitcoin went up to about a 20x, um, and that's a 20x in one year. So basically, buying Bitcoin today and then selling in. Um, selling one year from now. So if, if that were the case, which I don't think we're going to see a 20x this year, or maybe, maybe in 2021 or 2022, but if it were to happen now, um, the price of Ethereum, uh, you know, it's, it's not quite $300. It's like $270, I think, at, at the time of this um, video. Um, but let's say it were $300, then a 20x ROI would put us at, at $6,000. And I know that seems astronomical to most people, but if, you know, if Bitcoin goes to six figures, then seeing an, a, an Ethereum valuation between five and $10,000 isn't even really that far-fetched. In fact, it would represent a decrease in the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio um, of 0.15, which was seen in 27 or 2018. Um, the beginning of 2018. So, I mean, if, if Bitcoin is, you know, if it goes to say $120,000 or something, um, then Ethereum could be $12,000 and still only be one-tenth, um, the ratio would only be one-tenth uh, with respect to Bitcoin. So, I hope this macro level view um, is informative uh, for everyone. We do like to, to show charts here that you won't, you know, you're not going to easily find other places. And I, I do publish um, almost daily videos, sometimes more than one video a day. Uh, if you guys like this content, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on and check out the Telegram and Discord channel in the description below. If you would like more information and, and more updates about Ethereum and Bitcoin and, and some other um, uh, other coins out there, then uh, and you want to support the channel, then check out my Patreon channel. Uh, it's just patreon.com slash into the cryptoverse. The lowest tier is is... Uh, we'll, we'll get you these risk updates and we'll, we have a private telegram group where we have candid discussions about where we really, you know, see assets headed. Um, and, and we also, it will also give you uh, a subscription to, um, uh, the Bitcoin letters newsletter, um, which comes out four times a year. So we also have the Ethereum newsletter coming out, um, uh, hopefully sometime in the next week or so. So if you want to, um, get that, be sure to check out the Patreon channel as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.